They say that Hop and John is supposed to bring you good luck in the new year, but if your new year's resolution is health, then you're already in luck because this version, like all my recipes, is vegan, oil free, none of that garbage, and it's really simple, no chop, throw everything in the instant pot, and we'll be done. Let's do it. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. The new year is right around the corner and if you're anything like me, you've been enjoying a couple too many bites of marzipan and sips of hot chocolate this last couple of months. It is time to get back in gear. So if you'd like to join us for our annual January challenge, there's a link down below. Click it, you can get our free workbook. You're gonna need lots of healthy, delicious, quick and easy recipes like this one. This one's a lot like my starch blaster where you just throw everything in the Instant Pot, turn it on, and you're done. Plus, it's gonna bring you really good luck if you eat it on uh, New Year's Day. Isn't that what the, how the story goes? I guess there's some tradition about you put a coin in and whoever gets the coin is the lucky one, but I feel that just leaves too much up to chance. So I've got a full ramekin of coins. Go ahead and throw those in first into your Instant Pot, and we'll continue with the next thing. I'm kidding, pour them out. Don't put coins in your food. <laughs> Ooh, a whole dollar. We'll see if I get a little lucky later, you know what I mean. I'll explain later, that's not what it sounds like. The recipe's down below, so I'm not gonna sit here and spout off all the amounts that I'm using, and this is very forgiving. You can just wing it on all this stuff, you know I do. Here are our coins, okay? So throw your coins, black eyed peas, into the Instant Pot, okay? They're just dried, you can rinse them off if you want to, but they're just dried black eyed peas. A lot of people like to serve this dish over rice. What's the point? You're just gonna mix it all up with the rice anyway, so we might as well just skip a step and throw the rice in the Instant Pot, what do you think? Next up, tomatoes are for health. So let's throw in two cans of regular old diced tomatoes. I like to use the no salt added, because tomatoes can be really salty in the can. Throw them in, oh yeah. Next up, I've got two little cans of the green chilies. These are salty, so if you wanna completely avoid any salt in this recipe, then you, you might have to chop a little bit of fresh jalapenos, dice them up, and throw them in, or green chilies, whatever you want. But I'm doing the fast version, which does obviously have a little bit of salt. I specifically chose hot, because you know me, but you can get the mild ones if you prefer a little wimpier flavor, you know what I mean? I realize that those of you watching at home may be confused by the shirt that says chop till you drop. Consider that a sarcastic joke for this video because there's no chopping at all. I love these Trader Joe's fire roasted bell peppers and onion mix. If you wanna chop fresh, you could chop fresh peppers and onions, but this frozen bag is so handy and you can get these anywhere. They may not be fire roasted, but frozen bell pepper and onion are great for this because we're cooking it in the Instant Pot. Saves time, it's fast, and really lucky too. Mmm, those look real good. Next up, we gotta add the flavor to this dish, and I'm gonna start with a couple of tablespoons of minced garlic. This is the cheater stuff. Again, we're going fast here, so whatever saves time. I've got some dried oregano, mm-hmm. Thyme, you can't do without thyme, because it is New Year's time, you know? What I mean? So bad. We got some onion powder, that's going in. Cumin, one of my favorite things to add to just about anything, going in the pot. Then we got some smoked paprika, and by the way, if you don't wanna use the individual, you could use Cajun seasoning for this, you could use like a Burberry seasoning for this, if you don't wanna to have to go to the trouble of the individual item. And then we got some crushed red pepper to add a little bit more heat, because you know I like it hot, like I already said. And next up, add some water. I like to use already boiling water because it is so much faster than waiting for the Instant Pot to heat up, so take your hot water and throw in three cups. Yes, can you believe it? I'm actually measuring this. Boom. All right, everything's in the pot. Let's just give it a little stir and turn this sucker on. Throw on the lid, turn this baby on 25 minutes at high pressure, and then we'll let it natural release and we'll be ready to go and give this thing a taste. And that'll give you enough time to go and check off another one of your boxes on your January challenge, such as jumping jacks. It's time to eat that Hoppin' John's. Are you ready for some beans and greens? Oh boy. Oh, the peppers and everything looks so good in here, but we gotta throw in some greens because it's not Hoppin' John without greens. So find, if you wanna keep it no chop, find some pre-washed, ready to go, greens. This is a mix of collard greens and kale. Throw it in a handful at a time and then just get a big spoon and mix this baby in. This is the little forecourt. Maybe I would have done this in a bigger one so that I could stir in these greens more easily, but that's okay. That's all right. You could put the greens in your own single serve plate, but I'm mixing them in. I've committed to this. I haven't found any of those coins yet, so I really hope there's still a plenty of luck in here. Here we go. It is looking delightful with these greens. Let's taste this, Hoppin' John. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of Well Your World Stardust. Get that Stardust on top. Okay, let's have a taste. 
Ooh. Well, that's hot. Oh, that's really good. I love this. Mm. I can feel the luck flowing through my veins. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of luck in that pot because I needed that penny to scratch off my scratcher's ticket. I gotta see if there's luck happening right now. Holiday cheer, huh? What am I doing? Scratch the entire play area, reveal a gift symbol, and win a prize. A sleigh, not lucky. Cookies, not lucky. Stocking, not lucky. Flake, not a snowflake, just an actual flake. And this is a gingerbread man and a candy cane. Well, I may not have been lucky this time, but we're gonna have lots of luck next year, don't worry. Click down below, download the January Challenge Worksheet and join us, we can't wait to do it. And enjoy this recipe and many others from the Well Your World channel. See you on the next one, thanks for watching, bye.